A Waltham man charged with being drunk behind the wheel during a fatal 2011 crash has been sentenced to two years in prison. 25-year-old Ray Alvarez was sentenced on March 25th on motor vehicle homicide OUI and leaving the scene of an accident charges. According to a rep in the Middlesex DA's office, Alvarez changed his plea to guilty before his April 1st trial date in Middlesex Superior Court. Upon his release from prison, the Guatemalan native will serve three years probation. Among his probation conditions are six months of home confinement, 100 hours of community service, and a 15-year loss of driver's license. Alvarez married a U.S. citizen in 2007. These photos show him as a senior at Waltham High School in 2009. He's shown here at his Superior Court arraignment in October 2011. The crash happened on May 28, 2011. The defendant who was operating not only under the influence of alcohol, but operating negligently and at a high rate of speed. Court documents said Alvarez was traveling west on High Street at 50 miles per hour in a 30 zone when his 2011 Dodge pickup turned right onto Newton Street. After crossing the double lines, he slammed into this Cataldo ambulance van and fled the scene. The impact spun the van 90 degrees, knocking its front tire clear off. 72-year-old Sid Vogel, who was restrained inside in a wheelchair, later died from blunt force trauma. Alvarez also ran into the porch at his Alder Street residence where he was arrested after a brief struggle. In spite of extensive damage to his truck, he and a passenger were uninjured. Alvarez's apartment is less than half a mile from Paisano's restaurant and bar on High Street where he had been drinking before getting behind the wheel. Earlier this year, the bar was named in a civil suit filed by Sid Vogel's family. Sid Vogel was a former Cambridge court clerk. He lived in Dedham but spent most of his life in West Newton, according to family members. The family could not be reached for comment through their attorney. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.